What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Bleach the Thousand Year Blood Rock, this time with episode 6 of part 3 I believe. Uh, looking forward to this one, quite a bit of setup in the last episode, uh, we saw Aizen kind of not been fully released or anything but I do imagine we'll see him uh, kind of move freely and such in a short bit of time. Uh, we saw Grimjaw at the end of the episode which is really awesome, a bunch of Stern Ritters actually switching sides as well which I'm really looking forward to see, um, but yeah looking forward to getting into the action today let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comments though make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions and let's get right into it yeah let's not forget about it. everyone actually uh now going to be ascending up the palace Zoraki, which is awesome news. The eyeballs again. I still don't really know what that. It's, it's like when people have those weed fingernails <laughs> to pick up their uh, little ends of their joints and stuff. I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, why he's got that long ass fingernail. I do like Kur uh Is it Kur Kurasuji? Something similar to that. Kuratsuji. I do like him. And we've got at least another kind of outfit change plan for him, I think, haven't we? <laughs> for this season. Away from the sunshine outfit. Mm. Again, I you could tell the those people that were left down there were going to betray the um betray the Quincy's just off that visual from the opening which is a little bit unfortunate isn't it but it's not again it's not really that massive a spoiler I don't think it's not like it completely changes your view of everything um that's why I don't mind some kind of spoilers and stuff like that I'm not massive against them but um I do definitely feel especially with movie trailers especially nowadays they really give the whole movie away and to someone that's read the manga I imagine that gives everything away in this season but to someone like me again that haven't hasn't seen it so I don't really mind little spoilers like that to be honest if anything that kind of made me more excited for seeing more Basby and uh, the others <laughs> They're looking good. Ah, uh, now nice. I was kind of wondering if we'd see, I was, I was maybe hoping we would, and I, I did expect we would as well, we'll see her again. 
kind of seems like we're having pretty much every kind of major side character and such back for this final part, which makes sense. I think. Those numbers matter anymore. Yeah. I feel the same way. Oh shit! Yes, so we are gonna have the full bringers being involved. I do like her as well, you know. I think maybe my liking of her comes more so from the opening during the full bringer arc. I didn't care too much for the full bringer arc. It was alright actually. I heard a lot about it before I watched it. A lot of people talk and smack on it, and like, it wasn't majorly um, kind of important, but it was enjoyable. But again, I think a lot of that comes from the opening. I really enjoyed the opening. Yeah, I really like Ruruka's design. Again, it's kind of similar a little bit. I think maybe it's just like girls with pink hair, perhaps, because I really like the girl that looks quite similar from One Piece as well. I like that kind of design. I remember this guy had a pretty good ability. And she, yeah, she smalls things. I remember them training in like some kind of like hamster cage or something, right? Again, I didn't watch Fullbringer. I, I finished all of Bleach till Fullbringer, and then it, I actually watched it a couple of years later. I stopped watching after like Karakura. When else do you plan on using a, an amplifier then? 
Oh, there we go. I don't think you can. <laughs> no one's done, done a goddamn thing to you, Abaka, so far. Not a thing. And he's had plenty of episodes fighting people. I mean, if that is your ultimate goal, you could just try and kill them now, before everything is gone, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, if he values his life, he wouldn't do that. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it makes sense, don't get me wrong, but if that was like the ultimate, ultimate goal... Again, that that Dutch guy is actually probably one of my favourites of these. Andar or whatever his name is. What was he holding on with her? The Holy Newborn. Kyo Goku? I didn't catch that last bit.
You plan on losing. Again, I can't remember what the the Yukio UK, UK guy's ability was, but again, I remember it being pretty good. I think I think it like transported them like in a game or something, right? And I can't quite remember. The Valley of Screams. Here we go. Okay, it really has um re contextualized the place. Recontextualized is definitely the right word. But renovated <laughs> to say the least. Oh, well, this is the Royal Palace. I mean, I feel we've seen him do, do much more impressive stuff than this. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's impressive moving all that to here and building this in like an instant, but we've seen him survive some crazy stuff. Where are they is the question. Do you know what this kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of like a boss fight in like a game, like a boss a boss rush fight. Where you've got like five separate boss areas on each of the kind of Yeah. So yeah, someone told me we were introduced to him before, but I never remembered it and I don't think we were. That's why I got confused a few episodes ago, seeing him with, uh... <laughs> yeah, seeing him with Kurosuji.
Damn. All of them. Yeah, they've, they've turned this into a home advantage, haven't they? Not that there was any real disadvantage to them. Anyway, again, they, no one's been able to harm Rebecca whatsoever. I'm just like, I'm, I'm still quite amazed that Soifon out of all of these captains is like still here. I don't know. For me, any, maybe it's like a preference thing, but there was, I pretty much preferred every other captain. <laughs> yeah, she's the one that unfortunately makes it to the, uh, to the end here. That's just a me thing though. I imagine she's quite popular. Wow, oh, well. I wonder what that translates to. Wow, oh, well. A holy new book. Okay. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, a little bit of another setup episode here, but again, I, I actually quite enjoy, like I don't enjoy the training segments of Bleach too much, that much to be honest with you, but I, I actually like the setup episodes of Bleach. I think they're actually really well done. Well, this was another cool one today, actually. Again, quite a bit of setup, especially in the kind of middle portion, but um, them arriving here was pretty awesome, wasn't it? Just getting to see some uh, old characters again. Again, I quite like Riruka. She's cool. I don't really care too much for the, the blonde game guy, but um, yeah. And again, I like this guy quite a bit. I think he's one of my favourite Stern Ritters, although again, I will say quite a lot of the Stern Ritters were, considering they've obviously been added so late in the game, I think they've done a really good job introducing the, a lot of them. I, I quite enjoyed a, a lot of them while they were still alive. Obviously, quite a few of them have been uh, dealt with now, but really solid additions. I think in many shows, especially shows that are really long running, that actually kind of they struggle a lot of the time to have characters introduced that kind of match up with the rest of the side cast. But Bleach is really good at that. So is One Piece. I think it very easily could be like, oh no, why, why are you introducing this new person? I want to see more of this side character. Hidden friend. Okay, you have the sun. Well, uh, that's, that's another interesting little poem at the end, isn't it? Fire that drips from the fangs does not fade. I think that's Sabi Maru there, right? And it's obviously, uh, yeah, him saying this as well. Fire that drips from the fangs does not fade. Blade burns away, field, revealing my hidden friend. 
I think I haven't done this at all, but I think if you do look back on each episode after reading these, these make like perfect sense. Like these give away a lot, but when you again for someone that hasn't read the manga or doesn't know what's coming next, these don't really give away too much, except for maybe slightly obvious things like this. Um, but yeah, thank you guys uh, for watching. Like I said, really good, uh, another really good setup episode here. Love the uh, the tone, especially in the the second half when we did arrive at the uh, the palace and such. Um, again, before that, it was like I said, just kind of reintroducing uh, some of the old characters into the show and such. And um, like I said, it, it was really enjoyable. I usually don't care for kind of obviously you need setup and such, but it's usually not like the most enjoyable thing. I think Bleach actually makes it quite enjoyable to be honest with you with the character interactions. Um, but yeah, do let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comments. Leave a like on the video if you guys would like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. And very excited to see what we've got next week. See you guys then. Have a good rest of your day.